wanted, especially for growing children, present Jack Barry's Juvenile Jury. Now, here's our host for another spontaneous session of Juvenile Jury, Jack Barry. Thank you very much. Hello again, everyone, and a very cordial welcome to Juvenile Jury, the program where five average youngsters try to solve the problems you folks all across the nation have been nice enough to send to them. I'd like you to meet the kids this week. First of all, there's Lynn Rose Cohen. How old are you, Lynn Rose? I'm seven and a half. Here is Richard Goodall. How old are you, Richard? I was ten years old yesterday. Well, happy birthday to you. Down Thank here you. in the bottom row, Alberta Fitter. How old are you, Alberta? I'm playing six. You're what? Playing six. I see. In the center, Joe Ward. How old are you, Joe? Six. And last but not least, the newcomer to juvenile jury, Michelle Fogel. How old are you, Michelle? Playing four. Thank you. Nice to have you all on juvenile jury. Michelle, you're only on the program the first night, and you're starting to ad lib already, eh? Well, once again on Juvenile Jury, we're going to try to solve the problems you folks at home have sent to us. Good evening. I'm Jack Barry. In a moment, Hank Flumgarten and Jim Snodgrass will resume their match. To date, they have tied six times. Tonight, they'll be playing at $3,500 a point. Let's meet them as Geritol, the high-potency tonic that helps you feel stronger fast, presents 21. Back for the fifth week, Mr. James Snodgrass. And returning with $52,500, Mr. Hank Bloomgarden. Well, gentlemen, here we are again. NBC Television presents... Here is your host, Jack Barry. Thank you very much. And a very cordial welcome once again to Tic Tac Doe, the television game where two players compete to score three X's or three O's in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, up there on the Tic Tac Doe board. The way the players get their X's or O's on the board is by answering questions on the categories that appear in the boxes that they select. On yesterday's program, Mort Wolfson, our current champion, ran his winnings to $3,000. Now he has to tell us whether he wants to take that money and quit or risk it by continuing to play. So let's find out as we meet our first two players. High, low. Brought to you by Ford, maker of America's favorite station wagons and the Ford dealers of your community. High, low, the fascinating game where a contestant Gambles to match his knowledge against any one of our three panel members. And now here's our host for High Low, Jack Barry. Thank you. Thank you so very much and a very cordial welcome once again to High Low, the television game where contestants match their knowledge against any one of our three panel members. Hi. I'm Jack Barry. Over the years, I've created, produced, and sometimes emceed a great many game and panel shows. Juvenile Jury, Life Begins at 80, Concentration, which incidentally is still running on NBC after 11 years, 21, Tic-Tac-Toe, and many others. None of these shows makes me any prouder than I am of the one which I have just produced for Metro Media, television's first 90-minute game show. I am so proud of it, in fact, that I do not want to show you the first of the three different games that are played on the show. Why? Well, the second and third games are absolutely superb. By comparison, we found the first game to be relatively weak. So we've decided that if and when we go into production of the series, we should eliminate that first game from our format and add a few minutes to the second and third strong games, plus some lengthier interviews with the contestants for better identification with them for the home audience. And when you see these attractive young couples, I think you'll see why the home viewers would enjoy getting better acquainted with them. So now, we'd like you to see our pilot, remembering that in this version, we have simply cut from the opening of the show right into the start of game number two. I think you'll agree, after seeing games two and three, bearing in mind the additions I've mentioned, that we really have a chance to sock it to them with this new and exciting entertainment form. Thank you. These six 
six engaged couples will be battling it out in contests of knowledge and skill, and the winning couple will receive cash, prizes, and a surprise honeymoon, all on The Honeymoon Game. And now, meet the host of our show, Jim McCrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome to the Honeymoon Game. We'll be playing several different games on this show, and I'll describe each of them before we play. From the headlines and headliners of the past and present comes television's most fascinating new show, The Real Game. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Berry. Thank you very much. From Television City in Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here is the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you very much. And welcome once again to the Joker's Wild, where we return to our normal schedule here during the Easter vacation. I hope you enjoyed seeing the youngsters on the program these past few days. And we are going to pick up where we left off with, before we went into our Easter vacation with the children's program, where we had a young lady who had won a game, became the new champion, and didn't get a chance to spin for her prizes. So we'll re-welcome her now and let her do her prizes. Johnny, would you bring back the champion, please? These three windows will determine the fate of these two players as they challenge each other in knowledge and daring of Double Cross. Now here's the host of Double Cross, Jack Berry. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you very, very much. Delighted to have you with us here on Double Cross, a brand new program where players, in order to win the big money, have to take terrific risks. Here's how we play Double Cross. Our players make money by answering questions in the category that shows up in the top window. The dollar value of each question is determined by the bottom two money windows. However, if a cross ever appears in a money window, you are in trouble, players. You lose the money you've accumulated, and you also lose your turn. The player who accumulates $1,000 wins the game and gets to play our bonus game, which is worth more than $4,000. In a moment, the game in which these dice determine the fate of two players as they compete for over $25,000 playing We've Got Your Number. And now, here's the host of We've Got Your Number, Jack Berry. Thank you very much and a most cordial welcome to We've Got Your Number, a new and exciting game which I hope you'll enjoy. The players are anxious to go, and so am I. Johnny, would you introduce our first two players, please? Three of these boxes will break the bank, worth over $10,000 in prizes. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide-and-seek as these nine celebrities... From Barney Miller, Abe Vigoda. It's Canon William Conrad. From Barnaby Jones, Lee Merriweather. The magical Barbara Eaton. Comedy star, Joey Bishop. From Hogan T. Rose, Bob Craig. Singer, comedian, J.P. Morgan. From Queensland, Bill Cullen. And Happy Days, Anson Williams. All join us in playing Break the Bank. Now meet our host. Thank you very much, and a most cordial welcome once again to Break the Bank, where our nine fantastic celebrities are going to provide answers to our two contestants, hoping to give them the opportunity to find three in a row and possibly to break the bank, which is worth over $10,000 in prizes. Speaking of our two contestants, Ernie, who are they, please? Welcome to the game where lucky spins and correct answers bring high rewards to the entire family. It's... And here's the host of our show... Jack 
you. Thank you very much for welcome once again to Joker, Joker, Joker on our last program. We crowned a champion who won two games, won a lot of money, and is back because he was beaten by the devil twice and he'd like revenge. So, Jay Stewart, would you reintroduce our current champion and his next rival? From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild! And now, here's the host of the show, Jack Barry! Thank you very much. And a most cordial welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. Those of you who have been watching the Joker's Wild for the past couple of weeks have seen a rather extraordinary thing happen. Never happened before on our program, as a matter of fact. One gentleman has won more money than anybody in the history of this program. This was happy news for all of us, including the gentleman whom you'll meet in just a moment. But it also presented a couple of problems, because as most of you know who watch television, network shows have a limit, the amount of money that contestants can win. Well, we used to be a network show, but currently we're not a network show. At the same time, we're on some network stations. And so we've been in constant dialogue, as has the contestant, with what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. We finally have reached the decision or at least the decision has been made for us, and we'll give you that decision in just a moment. So, Charlie O'Donnell, would you introduce our current and top champion? <laughs> 